Shire. So I finally saw the Lego Movie last week. It was okay. It was a bit too hyped up for me. Kind of ruined it, but still, it was good. It was good. But it got me thinking on how much I love most of the Lego games. They're, they're really good. Even for an adult, I'll find myself chuckling along with them. So seeing all those different franchises in the movie got me thinking some more. So now I present to you the top five franchises that need Lego games. Five. First off, at number five, has there ever been a Lego fighting game? Nope, not that I could remember. So let's go all the way here. How about a Mortal Kombat Lego fighting game? Yeah, you, you see you're starting to feel it here. Now imagine this, even the fatalities would be amazing. I don't know if you remember, but Quan Chi had this fatality where he would rip off your leg and then just beat you with it while you're trying to crawl away. It was amazing, it was beautiful, and how perfect would it be with Lego pieces? Like he just undoes one of the legs and just like ka -dink, ka -dink, ka -dink, ka -pow! blood everywhere. Bam, Mortal Kombat Lego game. Four. Next franchise that needs to be Legofied would have 14 different stages. And it's hardest to get between those stages. Where are my Who beans at? Yes, Doctor Who would make for a perfect Lego game. Now think about it, the Lego games are known for their drop-in capabilities. So you'd always need a character for player two to play as. Well, the Doctor has companions. It'd be silly for TT Games not to make this. If it was up to me, I'd have one stage for each doctor and companion, which would be based off of one of their most popular episodes. Then afterwards, you can go back and play the other episodes as the different doctors and companions and so forth. The possibilities are limitless. I want this, but I'm gonna throw this out there. Gotta say it, bow ties, they aren't cool. Yep, I said it. And the ninth doctor is the best, cause Eccleston, obviously. Oh, and Lego Rose Tyler would still be the best companion. And the hottest. Rose. Three. Oh, number three may be a little biased since it is one of my favorite video game franchises, but wouldn't Mass Effect make for an amazing Lego game? Four player drop in for multiplayer, and you get to build your squad before each stage. And hey, since we're at it, Let's keep the RPG elements of building your stats and your abilities. You could play through the entire trilogy just like the Star Wars games. It could be perfect. You'd have to bring specific characters to unlock specific sections of the game. I don't know about you, but I'm all for this. Plus, LEGO is known for some great cutscenes and I would love, love to see how they do the romance scenes. Eh? Eh? Get a little, uh, little socket A into port B. You know, get all legified, be like, uh, 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 uh. Okay, too far, Joven, too far. Two. For number two, I say Cowabunga! Ninja Turtles not only needs to happen, but I beg the video game gods above to make this game just one day, please. Now, Ninja Turtles have been a big part of the Lego franchise since the very beginning. Just like in the Mass Effect idea, it could utilize the four player co-op mechanic, which would be perfect, duh. But if we did this game, I wanna see everyone, everyone. I'm talking about from the Rat King to Leatherhead and Metalhead. And damn it, this game will have Bebop and Rocksteady. Where did they go? And Tokon Razor, since we're at it. Just all of the villains would be playable after you beat the game, because there's so many of them. And who wouldn't wanna go through the entire game as Casey Jones just beating enemies with a cricket bat. I'm really surprised this game actually hasn't been made yet. Or perhaps it's in the works. Hmm? One. Now, for the most obvious franchise that needs to be put into a Lego game. See, Lego has Marvel superheroes and it had the entire Justice League in Lego Batman 2. So put your hands together. They have a DC game and they have a Marvel game they have the rights to both franchises. Make Marvel vs. DC already. This is a crossover fans beg for all the time and Lego can actually do it. It should play out as if they were actually against each other in the beginning, but then they actually have to join forces to stop each other's villains. It would be fantastic. And Lego games have had like 50 plus characters in them. So we could easily have everyone's favorite characters put into the game. It's a no-brainer. Now, as much as I'd like to see all these games on this list here brought to life brick by brick, 
This one game, this is the one that takes the cake. How can anyone argue with this? Because you can't. You can't argue it. It's just it, it's logic. You need to have it. I want to see Batman and Spider-Man swinging through town. The Hulk taking on Doomsday. And then Iron Man hitting on Catwoman because he can. Our lives will not be complete till we get this game. Whew, man, I got a little excited there for a second. Sorry. Well, there you guys go. Here's my top five list of different franchises that need to have Lego life breathed into them. So let me know on Twitter what you think should make a great Lego game. Which franchise should get it? I missed a few. I was thinking Mario. I was gonna put Mario on the list, but then Flitz and Sonic, you were like, no, not Mario. So maybe you guys think that's a good idea. Let me know on Twitter. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Last week, Jovenshire brought you his best love scenes in video games, and we thought it would be funny to follow that up with the most awkward sex scenes in video games. Because let's face it, when we're talking about that good old fashioned virtual loving, it ain't always pretty. Not, not really sure why I became a country farmer there. Anyway, let's jump into it.